I don't know what time you got up this morning, but Jesus was already up on the Friday of Holy Week. The trials went throughout the entire night, first between the high priest Annas and then in front of Caiaphas, the uh, the other high priest. It's a weird story. There were two. Uh, Annas had been thrown out. Oddly enough, Annas had been thrown out of his role because he kept putting people to death, and the Romans didn't like that, so they put in his son-in-law, uh, Caiaphas, uh, who's kind of a puppet. In any event, they do the trials throughout the night um, until they felt like they could wake the Romans up in the morning. And so at sunrise, they go find the Romans and say, we've caught this man and we'd like to have him put to death. He's tried in front of Pilate in a fairly ridiculous trial. And then he's sent to Herod briefly and then back to Pilate. And then uh, around about 9 o'clock, he's crucified and spends six hours on the cross on Friday. The uh, English word excruciating comes from the Latin exclusio, uh, which means out of, out of the cross, of, of the crucifixion. Uh, it's the worst kind of pain we can think of. And for six hours, he endured that for you and for me because he loved us. It was the ultimate conflict between good and evil, between life and death. And at the end of it, when Jesus dies, there is a moment where you wonder who won. Uh, good thing for us, Sunday's coming. The story doesn't end here. The Easter Bunny has arrived at church this morning and is very confused about why none of us are here. 